Welcome back everybody to another video in our sales series here on the football cave on YouTube. Don't forget to uh, form tackle that like and subscribe button. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos. Um, so this is our video, like I said, in our sales series, this time we're going to go over it out of bunch. This is the first time we're going to go over our bunch set. Um, again, same rules as our um, early and our trip sets where we don't have to call a direction. It's always to the wide side of the field, unless we have a tag, for the short side of the field, okay? The rule for alignment on bunch is that we always wanna be one step inside of the high school hash, okay? So whether that's a yard, whatever, we line up one step inside, whether or not we're in the middle of the field or on an opposite hash, okay? It doesn't matter. So we're one step inside of the high school hash, okay? To the wide side of the field, all right? And if we, and if we are in the middle of the field, then it's gonna to default to the right, okay? So bunch 60 sale. So we've gone over sale, right? Nothing changes for anybody. The zero tells us we're to the right. The T is gonna check release. Obviously we have our vertical set. Now the difference is in this, right? That now we wanna ideally have three guys outside release. Now, why do we want that? Well, this is the most common defense we see is the banjo type of uh, pass off sort of man or zone with a deeper safety on the, usually over the center, right? And these guys are three on three. Okay. And then uh, I've drawn it up like this. This is the most common front we see um, out here in Arizona is the 30 front. We see there's so many spread offenses. So a lot of times we'll see um, some sort of 30 front, whether it's a three, three or a three, four, but, and then a lot of times they'll condense into four eyes. Okay. For us. So this is our bunch 60 sale, right? The Z has the sale route. Now his rule is he wants to attack, right, the dead center of that corner, right? He wants to attack him, okay, force him wide and outside release on a right at him, okay, for about five, four or five steps, okay? Um, it doesn't matter, but he wants to just outside release, okay, and then push up vertical, right, and then run the post, and he wants to break it at about 12 to 15, okay? No deeper than 15, um, but generally we want to go four, four, and then break. So four steps to the corner, four steps vertical and break to the post, right? Again, the Y now, ideally we'd like him to outside release. Okay. But he's going to beat whatever he can on the press. Okay. So if he has to get inside, that's fine, but we want him to get vertical as quickly as possible, right? We don't want to get sucked into this guy on the backside. Okay. Or on the front side, we don't get sucked into the guy taking the inside. So then the F, instead of actually going one step inside, he's just going to foot fire in place for three quick steps and then shoot to the arrow, which again, angle of five and a half yards at the sidelines and the rule for the Y, right? Now, if it's man and he's pressed, okay, then he wants to get two steps past this defender now. And then he wants to split and just find the grass behind the corner that is bailing. Okay. If the corner stays down in some sort of cover two and the safety's got to get over the top. Now he just wants to take an angle to split them. Okay. Backside again, X is going to line up four yards from the tackle, act as a slot receiver, run the seven step dig, speed cut, right? And if the Jack backer blitzes, then he's got the uh, replace route. Okay. And he is free to sit it down in any of the holes. Okay. That's our bunch 60 sale. And obviously we want to always outside, ideally everybody outside release because a lot of times these guys are going to take whoever comes in their zone. Well, what happens if nobody comes in their zone, right? Now we have the defense out leveraged. Bunch, 60 sale.